This is Sound Off 60, Southwest Louisiana's premier sports show. The moon may be over. You tell us. Right. How does Ed Orgeron handle that immense pressure in yeah. college football yeah. to win and, of course, yeah. what comes being the LSU head coach? You know, I understand the expectations of LSU. I have the same expectations of myself and my staff. Yeah. I've been at Miami. I've been at USC where you expect to win. That's the reason I want the job. Sound Off 60 is presented by Merchants and Farmers Bank, where your future is our history. Also presented by Walk-On's Bistro and Bar, home of Sound Off 60. And brought to you by Relief Windows. For replacement windows, doors, and storm force windows. ReliefWindows.com Here are the guys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. Boys and girls, are you ready for round two, week two of Sound Off 60 with our 23rd year coming to you? As we mentioned to you last week, our yes. new home at Walk-Ons here in Lake Charles. It's going to be a loaded show. we got the Saints helmet got this week. Got everybody in the house tonight, Rick. Everybody, every Everybody's team, most teams tonight. represented. You well, know which one's my favorite, right? They, they have I know. to play game. <laughs> I know. I got that which covered one, for which you. Which one's that? I got that covered for you. Okay. <laughs> Guys, it's going to be a great show. A lot to talk about. A lot yes. of football. And we're going to get into well, uh, some. Wait a minute. That LSU helmet. Where did you get that? You didn't steal that one. Oh, I love that one. When no, you play, that's, that's a mod, more yes, modern helmet. Oh, it's exactly updated. right, Scooter. There's none of those Gidry scuff exactly marks right, on it. Scooter. Thanks for thanks for bringing in something brand spanking new there. It's Mr. brand Mr. spanking new. Brand okay. spanking. Not the way we like to do it. Yes, it All right, is. Speaking of LSU, uh, uh, Chocker Block Show. We got a lot to cover. We got Tiger Woods with mounting a great comeback in a major championship. I'm going to do. I told you so. A little bit later on in the okay. show. It's coming. Uh, nothing on Urban Meyer, but boy, we got a little. We we got a, a sad tale, and I got to ask some serious questions of you, Mr. Gidry, about Maryland football and what's going on up there. But first, <laughs> LSU. Did Ed Orgeron? Did he? Did he tempt the gods of football earlier in the summer when he when you wrote a piece that? Yeah. He just, boy, it's really been a nice, easy going summer. Ingram, Taylor, <laughs> Christian Fulton. I mean, well, what Fulton, is. Yeah, they but. They didn't do you, anything. I know it, but. Uh, but they did. I, I really think Orgeron thought they were going to get that second year overturned from mm -hmm. his suspension. Yeah. And it should have been. It should have been. Yeah. It, it very much should have been. The other things, yeah. That's probably, a, you know, if they can limit it to two players, one of them ran a foul. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, I guess. <laughs> ran a foul, but they were both key players. I got yes, to ask the question. This, uh, uh, the, the linebacker, uh, mm -hmm. give me the name again. Uh, uh, Tyler Ta Taylor. T Tyler Taylor. Taylor. It's pretty easy to remember. Tyler Taylor. You get arrested? And you don't tell anybody with the football program? Look, Rick, I, is that my correct look, impression? I don't know. What is it like? Gonna go to disappear? Gonna out? I mean, nobody was gonna find out that what you got you arrested. Sprinkle some magic dust on the criminal report. What's going on I there, guys? It. It, 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 if it, 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 you know, it happened. He's from Georgia. It happened back in Georgia. Exactly. I guess he thought he wouldn't make if it to it Louisiana. If it had happened in Louisiana, he couldn't have. I mean, it would have come out. Yeah. But he didn't it's think that it come out. He didn't think that it was going to. Yes. And uh, surely he knew it was going to come He out. had he to, but Kevin. I don't know. He was trying to buy some time. We all know that. Yeah. You tell your okay. coaches up front. I mean, this is coming you, down the pipe, it's, possibly. It's, you know, it's called getting in front we, of it. And I guess we we need to throw in the alleged. It is alleged. You're right. But yeah, if you're going to drive a getaway <sighs> car for Don't a, say it like that, Scooter. Come on now. If you're going to drive a getaway car, you make it seem like a hot criminal, Scooter. Well, sticking up a pawn shop, yeah, not sticking it up, burglarizing. He said, he said a pawn to drive shop. the getaway car like it's a. Well, the, you know that's the only thing he's got going for him. He I guess I'm a little. Involved yeah. in the actual burglary, allegedly. Exactly. Yeah. Police report. But if you're gonna do that, are you really thinking clear? No. With most of no, your you're not. Life? no, you're not. No, We'll get into that when we get no, into the not. LSU guy, If you were good enough to start five games is a you've true got freshman. to know at LSU you have NFL potential you do you've indeed no scooter that that's you do indeed you be a you I don't know all right we'll table that we'll get into it a little bit later on the silliness of all of that and, and the effects of the Ingram suspension 
uh, Tyler Taylor, and then uh, uh, Fulton losing his NCAA appeal. Boy, I'm going to get crazy. on a rant on the NCAA later on in the show. <laughs> McNeese, I was at the uh, I was the there scrimmage. Also. What was your thoughts, Mr. Gidry? What was your thoughts there? Defense? Yeah. yeah. We're going we gonna to hit you in the mouth. Yeah. That linebacker? B.J. Blunt. Lance, Lance, wow. better, put a, Lance yeah. better put a collar on him or something. Yeah. <laughs> He's not big. You know, he is he is the he is speed, a converted safety. The speed that that kid yeah. has. But you so know, don't you always see a lot more of that lately? Converted safety. Yeah, safeties big safety. Yeah. Exactly right. What's you all look? this spread off? Of yeah, you got to cover somebody, right? Uh, you know, it's not unusual to, uh, particularly the first scrimmage of the year for defense to yeah. dominate. But that McNeese offense moved the ball. They did. Yeah. Just couldn't get they in the end zone. What was their problem last year? In getting in the they end zone. They moved the ball. Yeah. Red zone. Yeah, red zone. Red that, zone. That, that, yeah. that sends I up think, a little yeah. bit. Well, it's early. We'll get into that in a minute. LSU had a secret scrimmage. I'm going to say that a lot in August, right? I mean, secret I don't scrimmage. know what, what, that's what, what about. LSU hasn't had anything about. else in about 15 years. Yeah, so. secret yeah. scrimmage. Uh, yeah, what, 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 what was the word? You know, stats here, stats there. Okay, uh, early. Yeah. Kind of the same uh, defense, yeah. kind of dominated. Yeah. Uh, we'll get into it more. Yeah. But uh, um, kind of tip off what I will, will talk about, and, and you mentioned uh, with losing Ed Ingram. Yeah. Their offensive line really struggled. Yeah. No. All right. Saints with a preseason game at Jacksonville. Leonard Fournette looked good early on, but they, they just good. get token carries. They rally back to win. Yeah. Peyton I mean, wasn't thrilled. You know, sloppy tempo, sloppiness on defense. What bothered me was, I think, missed tackles, Kevin. I didn't yeah. like to see veteran guys like a Vaughn Bell miss a tackle yeah. at the eight yard but line. But you know, you, it's have still to so say, early. you have to say it's preseason, and you know. <coughs> you yeah. Know. All right. Darius Geis is on our minds. Trey Quinn, injuries, getting yeah. banged up a little bit early. For Geis out for the year. That's going to be a question in our NFL yeah. segment. Again, the worthiness of exhibition games. I know where he stands, and, of course, Hobbs is going I mean, off in left field. Well, let's just play. Him. I know you have to have him, but. Boy, I tell you, when a Darius Geis is lost for the year, the Washington Redskins are not happy well, about I mean, that. It All right. could have happened the first game. It, yeah, it could. Yeah. It could happen yeah. any time. You're right about that. All right, first time out Just for walk-ons. When we come back, we'll get into LSU and these issues with some of these players, mm -hmm. the quarterback situation, offensive line, where yeah. we all Miss unveiling a interesting mascot over the weekend or late last. Did y'all see that? No. I did. I did. The Land Shark. I, I have no idea. It's it. interesting. Are we going to bring that up? Yeah, later on in the well, show. Okay. That's well, a TV team. That I became, have some thoughts on That became famous, what, Scooter? Didn't it happen against LSU when they started yeah, doing that, this? About 10 or 12 years started, ago. No, I got the history on it. I thought it happened against LSU when they started doing opinion. this. I don't think uh, you think everything in the world is connected yeah. to LSU. <laughs> We're coming back in about a couple of minutes to walk on. Stay right there. Don't go far. Sound Off 60 is brought to you by Walk On, Bistro and Bar, where great food, your sports, and good times roll. Stay here, the boys will be right back. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. What do you call a great beer with more taste, only 96 calories, and 3.2 carbs? We call it Miller Lite. What are you holding? Miller Lite, hold true. But Relief Wind is going to get quality. We're going to make sure that the job is actually ordered correctly. Experience. Experience measure tech. Experience salesman. Experience installer. Service. Customer satisfaction. That's our number one product. Um, at Relief Windows, you're going to get somebody going to show up on time, do what they say they're going to do. Nobody's going to run with your money. We're going to take care of you. At Relief Windows, we're not only windows. We're windows, doors, hardy plank, and vinyl siding. Relief windows. But our number one product is customer satisfaction. Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, 
and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk-ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Drew's favorite season? It's seafood lanyard season, only at Walk-ons. All right, we're back here at Walk-ons in Lake Charles. As they say here, everybody needs a little playing time. Yes, we do. Christian Fulton <coughs> needs a little playing time. Tyler Taylor needs some playing time, but they're going to be on the side. Let's, let's start with this Fulton story. Wow. Uh, let me hit the highlights for you. And, and okay, drug test. Tampers with a drug test. NCAA how, catches how him you... in the act. NCAA rules say if you tamper with anything, it's two years. If you fail it, it's only one. The kid didn't know this. He didn't know anything about the particulars of getting drug tested. Really? It was a random drug test. I put the blame on everybody. Everybody. And in particular, including him. Including him. Because yeah. he admitted, and he was afraid, according to, to media reports, that he did have a few hits of a marijuana. But how can it? you uh, not know? That's part of your enrollment. That's part of your becoming a college football player. Yes. To you, know these things. You do not do that. There's a booklet that well, you get. I, would, I, don't, I don't buy that. I you don't would, buy what? I would in this case. The excuse that he used he didn't know? Is that the excuse that he used? I don't buy that. According don't to Mr. Hobbs. We were given booklets when I got there. Know. I know they answer, got probably Answer no to him, Hobbs. Now. He's saying LSU is mean, not at fault. He, he did not, uh, he, did, he didn't use it as an excuse, but he okay. did, did explain some things. He didn't know they weren't checking for marijuana. Yeah. He didn't know that there were, and I, I would blame LSU to a degree. I do In too. Fact, LSU fact. changed their policies to where they are educating them better now. Scooter, they did it when I was there. I'm, I'm did LSU hard say, Mr. Goodyear, don't tamper with a drug test? That's something I would never do. Scooter knows well, that. Well, I'm just that's, saying, did they tell you that 20, yeah, 30 years ago? They, okay, okay. The, they, the, the other guys were using his pee. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Can you say that on TV? Is that I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't even, know. I don't want the thought of that. But, but anyway. It was like we were told the defensive position coach. All right, well, that's irregular. It uh, may be irrelevant. it may be a testing coming down the pike. They didn't say what date. Here, here's the core of it. Here's the core of it. Uh, the NCAA. They're supposed to pave the way for the success of these student athletes. This is not paving the way. No, it's not. A one-year suspension, okay. A failed drug test. Thinking, come on. Where does the and, NCAA and, and, and come on? I, I and I almost, agree with you, Rick. But I can almost understand uh, the theory that well, tampering is worse than failing. All right. I'm trying because to cheat this. The system. System. But the NCAA does allow for appeals. I'm, I have a problem with the appeals process. 22 people yeah. on a committee yeah. and they don't uh, even meet? Yeah. Can you imagine a 22-person conference yeah. call? Yeah. Can you get 22 people at yeah. your newspaper together yeah. at the same time? It's very hard to do. But I just don't get it. And I, okay, and I'm sure when they put that rule in there, that you know the the penalty is worse for tampering than for failing. The assumption would be tampering would be by somebody that was going to fail it. Yes, yes. There is an appeals process. The fact that you he did exactly not right, fail Scooter. the test. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. When you, he took it legitimately. You're exactly right, Scooter. Shouldn't that so be why an extenuating you, you you would, circumstance? Yeah, but yeah. the fact of the matter is that they think that he didn't know, so he was trying to manipulate the process right. of what's supposed to happen? Here's a guy that, that is going to be out. just went He's going to be out for two years. That's yeah. a long time, And he's a time, junior? Man. So when he comes back, is he time. getting a year back? No, as I understand it, if you were under suspension, you're not allowed to use a uh, red shirt. So he might get one year one on year. the field. That's one sad. Year. It is sad, Rick. That's sad. I have to NCAA agree NCAA should know better than that. Oh, it's sad. We're going to work on the assumption he's an NFL caliber player. Most, pe most defensive backs go to LSU would be, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the Tyler Taylor story. Arrested in Georgia way back, I think, in March. Yeah. Car, b knucklehead buddies robbing a pawn shop of guns. He it, drives off with them. They get caught. He doesn't tell anybody at LSU. Now it comes back to bite him on the rear, and now he's suspended. Well, he I mean, come on. He, he had to know. He had to know. I, 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 know. I understand innocent until proven guilty. His attorney says he will plead not guilty. <coughs> 
barring something from way out of left field, and I'm not going to convict him right here. Let's not. But there better be some crazy uh, extenuating circumstances yeah. on yeah. this one. Yeah. Or I mean, he's done. For him to be a part yeah, of that. Period. But but and but here's he's thing. done. Done for the year. Or oh, done. I, I doubt he ever plays oh, for LSU. See, I mean, this guy, he started five games, right? Yeah, he, six he, games? He, well, he all better to get, hope he's not in jail. Well, okay. It's kind of tough to play from the jail. <coughs> well, all right. It's But let's assume it wouldn't be the first time. I I don't know this for a fact, but I assume it's the first time anything in like trouble. that. In trouble. But let's, so let's say, let's compare this to Fulton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose, you know, somehow he gets off probation, whatever. But he's probably leaving LSU. No problem. He'll transfer somewhere else. Okay. And he'll be playing immediately. Right, right. Whereas Fulton is stuck. He's stuck. Yeah. yeah. It's a sad, yeah. This is a sad tale, Kevin. It is, Rick. These are kids. I, I, I These are young agree. men I'm that saying, are making mistakes. Somebody, somebody said, why didn't Fulton just go to a junior college play, you know, mm -hmm. let the Well, he can. He's been at LSU three years. Yeah. Junior college is a two year Yeah. Year. yeah. I mean, the, he's just stuck. Yeah. He's just stuck. All right, Ed Ingram, you mentioned about the offensive line uh, r reports out of the secret scrimmage that, you know, they struggle a little bit. Now, you know, I thought it was last week we talked about LSU. That's an area they have depth. Okay, now, what is the depth not coming, stepping up, or war is it we'll just all know, chalk Rick. it up to early on? We'll see I, against I the know, University of Miami. happen soon. Well, you know, they'll find out in a hurry. We, we know what kind of defensive lineman Miami tradition they have. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and, you need you and, need you need and, an abundance of players this, in today's game, especially like early on. We're talking about with McNeese. The defense normally dominates that first round. Yes, they do. It, it seems to me the problem spot for LSU is going to be center mm -hmm. because when they had, they were. I, I think they thought they were going to move Ed Ingram to center mm -hmm. and let this junior this junior college transfer is playing very well yeah. at right guard. Right. Uh, and I think that was the plan. Yeah. No. Uh, but, no. you know, you got to figure it. I mean, it seems to me you can figure on LSU losing one offensive lineman every offense. That's my point. Usually by injury, but it will always be something. It, it's, it, it makes and me. If they, and they have, you know, there may be, I mean, they, they played Florida, in Florida last year with true, three true mm -hmm. freshmen yeah. in the offensive line. They have a lot of a, a very touted freshman offensive line. Yeah. Way too early to tell if any of them Way are too early. Early. Yeah. And, and, and But you know, it looks like they're going to need uh, what, what I guess I'm looking for, like you know, school in to say, line, jump in, know, Kevin. In that offensive line, the thing, I want to see somebody scooter like an Eric Andelsick step up. Oh, Ralph Norwood, somebody who can just take charge and dominate. Well, why a don't game. we go ahead and put Tommy Hunts in the quarterback while we're and at dominate it. a game? But let me just say this for the record, Rick. Um, you know, Miami has got three guys on the defensive line that have been arrested. So, how do we fare with that? All programs have it. All programs, because they're all young that, and Rick? they're all stupid at huh? times. How do we look? Fare with if that, they're getting man. arrested, they should they sh their their butts should be suspended. I agree with all that. But in these cases that we're talking about, especially the, the Fulton situation. You have to give a kid another chance. I understand that was a knucklehead thing that you did. Yes. But you have to give kids Just another to, chance. If time, we man. go off the air, to me, Fulton has paid I agree. his penance. I agree. I agree. And I blame a lot on the NCAA and yeah. him and a, a certain percentage on LSU. All right, we're going to take a break from walk-ons. The girls from walk-ons a little bit later on in the show going to yes. show us some great eats here at walk-ons. When we come back, it's time to uh, sink our teeth into the blue and gold. First scrimmage of August. We'll talk about that and some issues out of the Cowboy camp. When we come back in about two minutes, don't go far. Sound Off 60 brought to you by Merchants and Farmers Bank. Enjoy a more reliable, responsible, intelligent, and connected indoor environment that easily adjusts to your preferences, no matter where you are. Uncompromising, unmistakable, Luxair. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. 
This is Brandon Holly, six foot two, former college football player. He and his steel crow bar can't get through this storm force impact window from relief windows. Call 337-456-1699. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award-winning research. The latest orthopedic techniques. Right here, at home. Cassio Sports Medicine. Still swinging. Get your Storm Force Impact Windows from Relief Windows today. Call 337 456 1699. 456 1699. Tired of ineffective radio and newspaper ads? Give Billboard Advertising a try. With over 250 billboards in the Lake Charles and Baton Rouge areas, AdSource Outdoor is a great way to get your business noticed. Call us at 337 477 4470. Get spotted with AdSource. All right, welcome back to Walk-Ons here in Lake Charles. Everybody yes. needs a little playing time, and they, uh, they play and have a lot of fun here at Walk-Ons. Some great eats coming up a little bit later yes. on in the show. we got great color tonight. we got the blue and gold, purple and gold, black and gold it's with the New Orleans good, Saints really? helmet. we got a lot to talk about. Saints talk is coming up. Tiger How Woods can you and... call both of those colors gold? That's a good well, point. No, it is. School. That's a good point. Saying, I mean, school. that's the official color. What do you think? Uh, it's more, a little bit more yellowish? Yeah. It's a yellowish, yeah. I would say yeah. it's yellowish. Yeah. Always, always got to be a contrarian, huh? I'm just always saying, be a contrarian. man. I'm just saying. Tiger Woods later on in the show, and I am all, I never want a winner or a champion to be overlooked. Brooks Kepka won the damn tournament. Let's give him his due Tiger later Woods on in the, the show. show. Rick. That, man's got, the show, that man. man's got some guns. All right. Uh, let's talk McNeese. Speaking of guns, uh, boy, the defense stepped up Saturday at the hole in Cowboy Stadium for this scrimmage. Uh, I thought the quarterbacks, they played three or four of them. Uh, James Tabory, good completion. Uh, Cody Orgeron moved around, good completion. Yes. Uh, Lance Keller moved around. Even Cameron Smith, the tall kid from Florida, yeah. got some snaps, was five for five. Rifle arm, made some mistakes as freshmen will. You got to put the ball in the end zone. You got to get you six. Do. And if you're going to okay. kick a field goal, I know uh, early, you got to make the field goal. But you got to get six. Well, that's what they'll use that first scrimmage. Yes. For. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, what was intriguing though. Uh, I think Orgeron, they, he's going to play a quarterback. I think he'll get in some series. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think he's, he's enough of a change of pace. I mean, I understand they might even have a, a series of half. Nothing wrong with that. Gidry has done that. Matt Viator did that. Yeah. you got to give them some experience yeah. and build that experience down the line. I wasn't supportive of that idea when it came to Miles Brennan at LSU. No, you weren't. I was no, not. No, no you weren't. Because <laughs> LSU, you got to, you know, LSU but, was in a lot of tight games. James, are you, I'm reading between the lines. Are you wondering and questioning that is James Tabory? Have a strong no. hole at starting quarterback? No, I think but you know, I've mean, been a big Tabory fan. He's very, yeah, very good. He's, he's been here. I just say it's intriguing. Orgeron, I think, is a little better than I thought he would be. Okay, at this juncture. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. At this I mean, juncture. looking looking at him, and Rick, he's done enough last year. His stats didn't, weren't like the first year that you he You mean Tabory? Tabory, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, in looking at him Saturday, I can see clearly that he's the starter. Yeah. You know, you can look sometimes and just say, it's not any competition as to say, well, this or that. But Ogeron, looking at him, I love his feet. Yeah. I love the quick release. Yeah. But the only thing that gets me a little bit is his statue. Yeah. He's a little bit smaller in oh, stature. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that bothers yeah. me. Yeah. He's, he's, he's not a big fella. I guess what fella. surprised me about him, for a guy that really didn't play that much high school football. No, he did not. Until his senior year, yeah. I think. Yeah. Something like that. I mean, it's... He's got some potential. Yeah, he's got good good football DNA. Let's talk about the defensive side. Uh, new defensive end, uh, Cody Roscoe, mm -hmm. four sacks. Blunt, B.J. Blunt, yeah. veteran coming back, converted from the secondary, now the linebacker. I don't know, like two or three sacks. They were second, but they weren't actually sacking yeah, the quarterbacks, but they, they counted as sacks. A lot of sacks, interception for a touchdown by a walk-on that Gidry just loved. But defense, as they will, as they will, 
get entrenched and get in the offensive guys' faces, they will Look, do better than I the offensive early something? on. We both are at the scrimmage, and yep. you heard the exact same thing I heard, right? The quarterbacks were in yellow, go, yes. whatever, and you don't touch them, Scooter. Whatever no. they do, you don't, don't touch them. That. One of the quarterbacks scrambled, Rick. I think it was going toward the south end zone, and he didn't go out of bounds. One of the defensive backs hit him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coach Gidry said, you got to be kidding me, dude. <laughs> what color jersey does he have on? Yeah. Let me tell you how Coach Lance teaches his defensive backs. Coach, he didn't step out. Right. Well. That's what he told Coach yeah. Gidry. Yeah. He said, Coach, he didn't step out. Yeah. So what did that tell you, Rick? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm at the kill shot. That's yeah. the way Lance teach those guys, okay. man. Well, he, and yeah. you can't really be doing kill shots on quarterbacks in practice. No, no. Not, not, no, not on a consistent basis. He made the basis. comment that, yeah. Coach, he didn't step out, which yeah. I can see that. Clearly, clearly this Cowboy offense. Look, they've got some weapons, a great weapon in mm -hmm. Wayne Ross. Uh, this guy yeah. is just a lumbering kind of guy. But, Kevin, you saw it firsthand. We yeah. saw it in some games. Yeah, what do you have, like 30-odd uh, catches last year? He's got great hands in traffic, and he just kind of surrounds the ball and tucks it quickly. He, he's, he's learned to be a great receiver, and it's mm -hmm. not easy to do. A man his size, no, he's he's 72, big. 72, 75. He's big. He's big. Uh, so he's a weapon. He is. Uh, the running backs, four or five of them. Justin Pratt can catch the ball out of the backfield. David Ham is a, you know, they've got weapons. I'm wondering though about the receivers. Trevor Bay, Wes Welker type, made a great juggling yeah. catch in traffic on the yeah. sideline. But one of the things last year, they couldn't get separated. They right. couldn't get open when they needed to. Exactly. And we and won't know that until two or three games in. I'm, I, I, I still have some questions Rick, on this receiver. You, you know, do you say to yourself when you look at the offense and you say, is the defense really that good? Could be. I mean, they've got some. They've got some returning corner. Maybe they couldn't get separated. They were coming, Rick. When I, I mean, watch them in drills, they're catching balls. I'm looking at my corners, and Lance is teaching these guys like you play pro. If you get at eight, you're gonna give the receiver the first two steps, and then you backpedal. Yeah. That's what those guys doing. You because you're reading the quarterback. Now that's that's guys that know that they can't get beat deep on speed. Right. That does, not everybody can do that now. Right. But you guys that are good defensive backs, they're gonna give the receiver that first two step and then start backpelling because Gidry, they want to read the quarterback. Lance Guidry has made it clear he wants to play man. He likes playing man because he wants safeties running around and he wants to get pressure. If he can play man, he can maybe put more pressure okay. on, the on the offensive front and the and quarterback. And you know what that creates? Rick? More interceptions, but that creates more interceptions. If you want to play man, play man, you better be able to play man. I agree. I agree. <laughs> and the guys that I talked to, the Trent Jackson safety and Colby Burton I says, think they can. we can cover. Yeah, I think they we're can. Passing I think they're going to uh, exactly. We can't no, cover. I, I think they can't look at them. But you know, I, I was can. going through. I was going through. I was going through there. You know, uh, Nichols, couple of receivers back. The Jean Pierre kid who yeah. burned them last year. Yeah. Sam Houston's got a good one coming back. Stephen F. Austin has a thousand-yard receiver coming back. Again, I mean, can they cover? Can they cover big receivers either deep or underneath? The question we don't, remains. We don't. Talk I think about they can. It. Yeah, I think they can too, Rick. We don't talk about it a lot, Rick, but let me tell you the one thing that I think can separate McNeese from a lot of other teams in the conference, special teams. Why do you say that? Uh, because are, you about, are, you, are we going to talk about, we're going to give the kickers their due, or are you talking about no, coverage? No, 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 no. You I'm saying when kickers, you've got man. the opportunity, if you've got a decent field goal kicker that can kick from 40 in, yeah. you can guarantee some points okay. on the board yeah. with that. If you've got punt return, kickoff return people, that's a threat, Rick, that can make a difference in a game. To me, if it can, I'm, but it's so I'm far taking, and few in between. But I'm taking my special teams just as important as that. Rick, your favorite team, Rick. What do they concentrate on more than anything? I want, your favorite I, team, Rick. What do they concentrate on more than anything, I want special teams. Rick? I want special teams to cover. If you get a long, if you get a long return on a punt, or you happen to break a kickoff, mm -hmm. it's like, oh my gosh, the heavens have opened. It's yeah. just a freebie. It just doesn't well, what happen. What about kickoffs uh, this year? But Rick, exactly. you really have to cover them. Yeah, yeah. For real. yeah. You, you know, can't you even better, trade away. You know, I know this may be getting off track a little bit. I just wonder, unless coaches get in these guys' face and say, if you're on the five-yard line, it's because yeah. those returners, they catch it. Their ego will not let them call for a fair catch on yeah, the five-yard line. It won't. It won't. No, it's no. good for whatever reason. I don't know why. No, but they just right. got this thing about, I'm going to catch this. It's, uh, well, it's, it would be a sign of weakness. Oh, like, 
Well, I could have got it way past the 25. When it, look, when it comes to the yeah. Mountain East, we're getting some questions answered, and yeah. as we get an answer, another question pops up. Yeah. And that's what off-season, preseason football happen. does. All right, we'll take a break. Saints coming up next. Win over the Jags. Uh, but I think they got Baltimore coming up. All of a sudden, I'm losing yes. track, but we'll talk about that when we come back. Stay Does right. it matter? Sound Off 60 brought to you by Relief Windows for replacement windows, doors, and storm force windows. ReliefWindows.com. Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk on, because everyone needs a little playing time. Drew's favorite season? It's seafood lanyap season, only at walk on. Five years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. Welcome back to Walk-On's Common Street in Lake Charles. Everybody needs a little playing time, and you can get that and a whole lot of great eats here at Walk-On's. We're glad to be here. It's our new home for Sound Off 60 in our 23rd year. The girls of Walk-On's coming up a little bit later on in the show, going to show us some good eats there. You are deep in thought, Mr. Guidry. Yes, I am. You are yes. deep, deep in thought. Texting. Yes, I am, sir. Are we ought to kick him off I'm the trying show. to get no all the information that I can. No texting during TV none. shows. Trying to create all the information all I can All right, get. let me, a little programming note. I will be hard at work next week on a cruise somewhere. Really? That, I will not be somewhere, here. Somewhere, huh? Wow. You it, had all July. I know. That's what I, I, th I thought that's what that month was I for. Know. I know. But they I tell me July is not a good time to be on the Mediterranean Sea. So, I'll is be way far. Bad time I will, to be on the Mediterranean there is no bad sea? time to be on the Mediterranean. I will be far, Why far don't we away. Go too? No. I just make it a group don't it, want I mean, you it anywhere effort. near make it a this. Group effort, man. Jim Gazzola will be sitting in my chair next week uh, having fun with show. you guys. Please, please, guys, welcome Jim. Hit the mark. Can you do you like what you Keep we the will. fundamentals of the show we will. strong. We, we like will. Jim more than you. Oh, I know you we do, will. but I'm just, I'm just really stressing. We will stressing. do our best, Keep, Rick. We work on your fundamentals. We will, right? Rick. The blocking and tackling of TV. Please. <laughs> Holy smokes. We will, right, Rick. I'll be back the following we'll week. I won't be going that problem. that long. Let's talk about the New Orleans Saints. 24-20 preseason win. Rallied back to beat Jacksonville yeah. on the road. Friday night at the Dome. They welcome what Arizona. A thrilling comeback. Yeah, it's wow. thrilling, all right. Wow. Exhibition drags on and on. Uh, before we get into Saints, former LSU running back Darius Geis yeah. lost for the year. First preseason oh, game. Saying. ACL injury to the knee. Also, Trey Quinn, former Barb Star and SMU uh, of Lake Charles, suffered some internal bruising. I don't want to say see what it was. It was a bad oh, hit. Yeah. Um, well, it was a legal hit. Uh, I, got a, I got some information in a text from his dad. Dave said he's okay. Good. Uh, he's getting better yeah, by the he's day. Not yeah, I'm yeah. spitting up blood on the sidelines, Trey Quinn, and asking to go back in. That's well, a guy who wants to make the roster. That's, that's what serious. you do when you're a rookie. That's what you do <laughs> that is when serious. you're young, and the doctors say, no, we got blood on the sidelines. You're going to yeah, rest. All that's right. Serious. But 
the big, que the overarching question of Adarius Geis and anybody else that gets hurt in preseason is these type of games and the amount of games. I don't know how you get away well, from the injury. You've argued either. against preseason. I say, no, I, well, I don't know. I, I'm okay with I'm, two games. Yeah, I'm okay with two. I think that two games would be fine. Uh, but also, I don't think you can play scared. No. Uh, I mean, that doesn't mean Drew Brees should be playing that exactly any right. more than he played but, last week. But Darius Geis right. needs to get in and get well, some sure. reps. Geis was a rookie. He, yeah. he, he needed yeah. to. Right. He needed he, to play. You know. He's a tough guy. Hit by a bus. He's a hard he's, runner. He's, he's, he's a violent. He's a couple of snaps in the I NFL. You blow an ACL. It's just freakish. Yeah, it it's is. just freakish. Okay. All he used at LSU. And he, he had become, I believe, the most popular Redskin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> without, and no doubt. Without playing a game. No doubt. Yeah. He's lost for the year, so he'll have to wait. That's got to be, Kevin, that's got to be hard. That's got to be a gut wrenching. I mean, if you if you a player that's played one or two years in the league, whatever. Here's you, a guy you who will come back and rehab with your first Darius year? Geis was slotted for what? At least top 15 and he drops to early second. Yeah. Can you imagine the motivation he had to play this year? It wasn't even early second. No. Well, yeah, I thought it was early. Second. Was it was mid, second. at least mid, mid. 59th second. pick, something like that. I don't know. All right. Uh, hey, would y'all would y'all argue this point? Is it just me or do these preseason games seem to mean less and less every year? You do it all the time. You're you just do really down on preseason, but the, the coaches the need – look, if you, if you don't play a couple games and then they get out on the field and have a poor product, Hobbs would be the first one to say, yeah. what's going on with this NFL can't product? They these stink. guys don't know the rules of the I game. I mean, they what got they to get – they got to get I tempo think, down. What, they got a lot of things to work on. I think it gets you to where you can make those little dumb mistakes in preseason and know when you go back to your checkboard, each position has one. Those are the things that you put up on your board and say, we cannot do these for right. the rest of the year, guys. Right. So preseason, it does have its ways of helping you as a team. I believe And that. there's so many players you got to evaluate. And, and I think the Saints, the Saints against the Jaguars got a lot of people in. Let's they talk did. about my favorite subject, the quarterback. Tom Savage was a veteran. <laughs> yeah. You know, pretty accurate. Yeah. A lot of check down. Nothing really, you know, elaborate. Yeah. But they're I, not going like to throw anything. I like the other one. Tyson he's Hill. Yeah. Well, he's got good legs, doesn't he? He does. He can move. He's got and good he, legs. And that, to me, kind of almost disqualifies him as the heir apparent. Mm. Those guys never seem to work out. Never seem to last. But if you should ever need, please say it isn't so, a backup, I mean, a backup to play in New mm -hmm. Orleans. Yeah. It is enough of a change of pace. It might just you get you through be, the year. Look, I don't up. know what Peyton's gonna if he's gonna hold three, but this guy plays great well, special well, teams. He, he'll Taysom make the roster. Hill, he'll make the roster. Yeah. If Taysom Hill is is one of them, you've got to have three. Exactly. Because he could get hurt on oh, special exactly. teams. Oh, exactly. And yeah. look, I feel pretty yeah. doggone. He does play special I feel teams, comfortable right? with a Tom Savage as a backup. Okay, I, I do. No, I would. Now, I would. it's hard to fill the shoes of a Drew Brees. No one will. It's not going to happen. But if Brees happens to have a bump and a bruise and has to sit out a quarter or something, just, or a half, or a game, Tom Savage would be, you know, adequate When you're as looking a at a position like that, Rick, and what coaches do at a position, you know who your starter, I mean, is going to be. That's no doubt about that. You just try and find somebody who can get you through some games to where you a can bridge. have your quarterback come a back. A bridge that's until. All you want. Yeah. That's all you want. That's all you yeah. want. Until a breeze that's all you comes want. back if but it's not know, too we, serious. We, we poop out the results. And, and we've done it over the years when the Saints have, you know, lost a preseason game by two touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. And we've said they really didn't play that bad. Well, they won this one. And it was like Sean Payton was ready to cut the whole team. Yeah, yeah. Afterwards. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's an intense guy. He is. He's he an is. intense guy, and that's how coaches that are. I, look, I don't know, Kevin, is – I think I, I use the word troubling when a Marcus Davenport, number one pick, hasn't practiced in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, didn't practice at all in camp. Yeah. Now, I mean, you know, you, you got to get better. you got to be healthy. But, you know, and I'm sure he's getting strong, and he'll have fresh legs. You know, I uh, – yeah, but that. they've got good guys at that position. They do. But he is, I mean, he's a stud. What he they is. paid for him, they need to get some productivity out of him early on. I don't think it's too early to at least, let's, let's poke our eye. And I'm with you. On, on, let's, let's take a quick glance at the NFC South. 
uh, uh, let's start with uh, the Atlanta Falcons. Julio Jones, I wrote about this over the summer. He's pissed. Julio Jones wants that contract. He's pissed. You know, the whole social media, taking all oh, the Falcons yeah. stuff off of social media. Well, he didn't, he's not getting a contract right now, well, and that's not, that doesn't bode well look, for the. And, and the well, thing is. but Julio will play. When oh, he'll play strong. Play. I, I, it was something during Julio the summer. Julio can play. He worked out with Terrell Owens this mm. summer. You guys probably saw it on social I saw media. that. I saw that. And um, I what think a great what, influence, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what a great influence. I'm sure. I'm sure Quinn just loved that the head coach. But. Oh my goodness! All right, so man. You, you got Julio and the Falcons going on, and then you got Cam Newton. <coughs> Did y'all see the little thing with Kelvin Benjamin at the preseason game? He wanted to confront a former teammate who criticized. Uh, uh, Newton for throwing him, he throwing did. receivers into traffic and hits. Yeah. And then, you know, I mean, they had a little, little, no, did you did not, you yeah. need to check it out on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, it clearly, clearly Cam Newton wanted to talk to the guy and the guy just pretty much brushed him he off did. and walked away. And Newton just threw his hands up he did. and said, I'm done with you kind of a thing. Yeah. He, Cam Newton just, I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm critical of him. Just you grow are, up and be a star but quarterback. Rick, you know what I think he's done that, Rick? He's had his bumps, man, and he's done some bald-headed things. I, 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 but I think he's coming, not as bad he's as Jameis Winston. Own, look how bad he I was think, when he first. Oh, and I Jesus, think, Rick! I, I, I think he's come a long way. I think Cam will eventually grow up, but I don't think he's anywhere near there yet. Not anywhere near. And he's only been playing in the league 15 years, it seems like. He's been playing in the league 15 years. I know years, that. Rick. Taking a break. We're getting back to college football. Don't go far. We're coming back to walk on. But Relief Wind is going to get quality. We're going to make sure that the job is actually ordered correctly. Experience. Experience measure tech. Experience salesman. Experience installer. Service. Customer satisfaction. That's our number one product. Um, at Relief Windows, you're going to get somebody going to show up on time, do what they say they're going to do. Nobody's going to run with your money. We're going to take care of you. At Relief Windows, we're not only windows. We're windows, doors, hardy plank, and vinyl siding. But our number one product is customer satisfaction. Charles and Baton Rouge areas, AdSource Outdoor is a great way to get your business noticed. Call us at 337-477-4470. Get spotted with AdSource. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. All right, welcome back to Walk Ons, where you can always get a little playing time and have some great times and some great food. The girls from Walk Ons coming up yes. a little later on, show you some good eats off the menu here. All right. It's always good. You know, the Ohio State story, it kind of calmed down last week. We talked about it extensively with Urban Meyer. You know what, guys? He's going to keep his job. This little two-week investigation by the university could very, well, goes, could very well turn into three. Could. And as more time goes on, the news cycle of and let the national attention gets away from well, it. Let, and me, let me let me say this: If Urban Myers keeps his job, the AD is gone or the president's gone. One of them is gone. I just don't. I don't all see it. I don't staying, see it, Kevin. I just think it's suspensions. I, all three people I just staying. think it's suspensions all the way around. I really I can't do. See all it, right, Rick. Can't see it. Another story has popped up late last week, a tragic death of a yeah. young football player at the University of Maryland. Maryland. And then all of a sudden, ESPN reported anonymous sources that uh, inside the a program, lot of players, a lot, lot of players. players were saying they this were is anonymous, a, so yeah, a top, you know, in quotation, air quotes, 
toxic culture of DJ Durkin, been around football a long yeah. time, uh, and his strength and conditioning coach, a, a gentleman by the name of Rick Court, may have been pushing the limit. Now, both of these guys and another athletic guy is, again, on administrative suspension leave, leave with pay. Yeah. With pay. Not domestic abuse, but yeah. now player abuse. When is it well, too much? When, no, when is it too much? When well, a Jordan McNair, it, a young player, is, is struggling with running drills and he, and he un tragically passes I mean, away a couple I mean, of weeks I mean, later. That, that is obviously what brought it to a head. Yeah. yeah. But it, it went beyond that. It, in that it was uh, what is, you best describe as a toxic culture. I mean, I'm, it, it, half of that story you know, is accurate. There's no reason to believe it's not. Okay. I mean, what were they thinking? You know, you, rem you we get, look, you know, maybe even as, as soon as 10 years ago, maybe even six or eight years ago, Okay. high now, school, college, uh, yeah, pro, put, you know, three a day, two a day, that's over. We know football, more about the human body. Football is boot camp. It is. Nothing new. It is. Uh, but, within reason. But, but see. Within reason. Not to blame anybody, but Rick, this is always in school. This has always been my take on this. If you know you're going into camp and you know you're going to be faced with some difficult situations, sports for strengthening and just being able to, uh, to be conditioned and stuff, you prepare yourself for that. You prepare. Not to say that if you don't, this is what's going to happen. Right. But you you do things to get yourself in shape. Now the coaches but got some, to know some there players are some don't. positions that you can't push. Receivers, defensive backs, running backs, push you can push those three. Right. But you're talking about linemen guys that are excessive, right. that are big. Right. You can't do that. Well, there was a player, what, uh, a number of years ago, in recent memory, Minnesota, I can't, a veteran player died. All right, and the Minnesota Vikings. All right, so what, what, what's it's intriguing to me is they're still, I think, still running, you know, tests on the young man. They still don't know if it was something congenital that, that yeah. is in, you know, in his system. Yeah. We don't know that yet. But Durkin, the head coach at Maryland, and his weight staff, his training coaches, are on leave. They're looking into this. You know, what is the line? You know, look, we all played some sports. Yeah. I remember in basketball, good gosh, we get one sip of water in a two or three hour yeah, practice. We, we, we all went Kevin through that. Kevin is too young to remember that. And I'm not that much older than him. But it was like when I played high school football, that was the, well, I'll say it wasn't no water. But you only got one water break. It was yeah. a sign of weakness. Where, yeah. It was a sign of weakness and is what that did. You know. And it was hot then, and right? And it was right after I got out of high school that they totally changed that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Stay hydrated. Stay, stay hydrated. Got hydrated. And, huh? I, and I get that. And, but and to me, it, it went beyond this this Maryland stuff. I mean, why why would anybody stick around that pro? I mean, the one that the bizarre one that got to me. Was this uh, the talk about the kid who uh, hadn't lost weight like they wanted to? Right. And they made him eat candy bars till yeah. he threw up. Yeah, that's yeah. just. I mean, I, I what is the point? Is that like? Yeah. You know, you I catch get a that. kid smoking yeah. and make yeah. him eat yeah. Yeah. smoke. You know, the whole look. Pack? Yeah. You got, you got it. You got to have some that. compassion. You got to work with these, with these players. You got to toughen Rick. them up. But there's a line. There's okay, a line you cannot you cross. That, you saw who the interim coach is. No, I did not. Who's the interim? Matt Canada. Oh, that's right. That's really? right. I did see that. You're right. I did not know that. Yes, Matt, he did. Yeah, really? Matt Canada is the interim coach. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, he gets fired wow. by LSU and yeah, now he's the head coach at Maryland. Yeah, I did see look, that. Yeah. But look, the thing is, Rick, as a coach and as a position coach and as a strength coach, you've got to know that you've got to coach these kids into a place to where they can be successful. You can't just run a kid in the dirt. And I blame them if that's what they did. This right? is not 1955 Bear Bryant you can't in Junction, that. Texas junction anymore. Boys. The you Junction Boys. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't you drive got, people to near but death. But you've got guys nowadays, not back in the day when Bear Bryant, you've got kids, kids at the size of 325, 350. Good point. Back then, you had kids at 260, exactly. 250. Or, or less you than that. You can't do that Exactly. Now. Very good point. Very good point. They're bigger. The kids are bigger. That doesn't mean it's always in the best of no, shape. Very good point. All. all right. When we come back, hopefully this story gets cleared up and we'll know a little bit more hopefully about the Ohio State story. All right, when we come back, all right, Tiger Woods making a great run. Remember what I told you guys like two years ago? Not Remember? Me. I was always with I'll Tiger. remind you. I I'll remind you. Tiger. It's coming. Not all me. right, we're coming back to walk-ons in a couple of minutes. Stay right Love there. Tiger.
Enjoy a more reliable, responsible, intelligent, and connected indoor environment that easily adjusts to your preferences, no matter where you are. Uncompromising, unmistakable, Luxair. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. Preparing a meal. It's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk on, because everyone needs a little playing time. Drew's favorite season? It's seafood lanyap season, only at Walk On. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award-winning research. The latest orthopedic techniques. Right here, at home. Cassio Sports Medicine. Hi, welcome to Walk-Ons. We want to introduce the lovely girls from Walk-Ons. That would be Madison. And Mallory, with yes. some great dishes that we want to introduce you here from the Walk-Ons menu. Let's first start with Madison. What, what is that? Some kind of Bermuda Triangle with <laughs> onion rings. What All right, that? so this is our Mardi Gras mahi. It's um, wow. our blackened mahi mahi. It's going to be topped on sweet corn grits. And it's um, there's a crawfish cream sauce topped on top of that. Ooh. And then decorated with a few onion strings. Love that's it. That's definitely Mardi Gras. Oh, really? You got that purple and gold I've color in there. That's definitely Mardi Mallory, Gras. Mallory, that looks like, uh, you might want to tip it a little bit. That yeah. looks like a, a, a hefty little salad with some shrimp. Yes, sir. It's a pepper jelly shrimp salad. It's a bed of spinach with feta cheese, bacon, cranberries, apples. It sounds healthy. <laughs> and blackened shrimp. You can't go Is wrong. Is that new? I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> You, you can't go wrong when it's you combine healthy. bacon with feta, or no. bacon with pretty much anything, yeah, right? There's nothing that's not better with bacon. Exactly. <laughs> Later, how long have y'all been here at Walk On? Y'all veterans or, or rookies? <laughs> I've been here a little over a year. Okay, so you're a veteran. I'm yeah. probably I'm around a year. Oh, both of you both got. Now, years. speaking of veteran, Mallory, where's the crown? Where's where's the trophy? South Beauregard State really? Championship basketball team. Yes, sir. In, in 3A, this past season, right? Well, Last year. Oh, last year. Last really? year. Last year. Uh, how exciting was that? It was very exciting. Our coach had been waiting a long time for it. And you got. Wow. And who do you got? Remind, remind us. Who do you guys beat in the state championship game? You remember? Uh, Almond. Al Auburn. Is it Auburn? Albany. Albany. Yes. Albany. 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 Okay. And you're still playing some hoops. <laughs> you're still playing some hoops. Um, I'm actually doing a three-point tournament this weekend. Really? Excellent. Excellent. Oh, good. Gidry wow. is always up for that's a good one-on-one. -on -one. some competition. I would like to You're always good for, for a good one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, all right, all right. I really would. Madison and that Mallory, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, appreciate guys. Appreciate showing job. off some great food here at Walk-Ons. All right. Speaking of greatness, I told you guys two years ago. In the, in, wait, wait, Tiger wait, Woods, I, I did. I fan. said, don't. He will. Do he not. will win another <laughs> major if, if the back comes back. Okay, and it has, it's back, well, was, well, it's back. You put a... No, 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 Hobbs, don't crawfish now. Yeah, Hobbs, you sat here and said, you said he would win another one. He's well, gone, let's, he's let's done. Keep, let's keep in mind, he hasn't won one yet. No, he hasn't. How close can you get, though? How close can you I get? I agree. He, he was right there at the right British, there, man. and boy, he was he within, within one yeah. at the PGA over the say, weekend. I will say, you know, I have definitely come around. He will win one. Boy, I tell you, he looks strong. And You know what the... The PGA or golf in general needs worse than anything yeah. right now. They need Tiger to win another major. Yeah, and I'll tell you I why. Agree. I'll tell you why. Kind of what you brought up. Once Tiger does prove he can win another major, then a little bit of the obsession with him 
can can go away. Mm -hmm. Poor Brooks Kepka. You realize he's won three of the last yeah. six majors? Yeah. But that wasn't the story. No. It really wasn't. The story was Tiger almost won. Well, once yeah. Tiger does win another one, then when the Brooks Kepka, maybe the story can be Tiger didn't win. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Like everybody. I agree. Knows. You got to give and, and, Kepka his I due. Think in you do. Old, you do. And, I, you know, I, I still do not think Tiger will ever be anywhere near as dominant. Oh, no, as no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, these guys. A lot of things. I mean, have. why would Kepka be uh, intimidated by him? Yeah. Kepka looks like an outside linebacker. Oh, he, he does. He's, he's got them big He's arms. a great, but, but great putter, great hands. I mean, it would be so good for golf for Tiger to be Tiger. I look. And I think he is. <laughs> when because he was. To me, he's got a lot better competition right now Huge. than he had. In when day. he was walking off the course to, to sign his card, I mean, it was like the Beatles. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the fans were just like going you know crazy, else, and he was like doing you know, this. You know something and, else? and Tiger, to a degree, has, has sometimes been a polarizing uh, uh -huh. of course. sports figure. But I will say this. If you can get Tiger back, and, you know, he's this close. He's getting there. Look, Tiger is much more likable now. Oh, of course. Than he was of when course. he was dominating. Scooter. He's older. It's mature. not all about Tiger. He engages. He went on for ages uh, last night talking about how much fun the St. Louis galleries were. Yeah. He never, no. he never did that. Go ahead, Kevin. Did y'all see the picture of the kids that had the sign Tiger written behind him? Was getting ready did to not see off? that. It was like some kids just had the word Tiger yeah. on their shirts and stuff. Let oh, me, okay. Let me tell you what, guys, I like about the whole situation that I think is going to make a difference with how Tiger plays. It's the attitude, guys. When have you seen Tiger dapping little kids in the yeah. gallery going yeah. to the next hole? He's, got he's never it. done that. He's got a new he's appreciation for the game because he was he away does. from it for so long. He does. And my gosh, when to that, me, that's nine, iron, that nine iron at 11 within <laughs> six inches, yeah. that's vintage yeah. Tiger Woods. Yeah. Now, the, fi the final he putt, I mean, that. he putted magnificently. He I did. mean, that putter kept him in this thing. He but did. when he was hitting out of the rough, I mean, guys, that, that, that well, swing. He couldn't and, hit a fairway. Oh, couldn't hit a fairway. Well, couldn't nobody hit a fairway. could. Well, Kevin he was, could. Holy Kevin could did. He did. He kept but, I mean, it, I mean, to me, that was a little startling. That as far as these guys hit it, Yesterday almost proved you don't even have to hit fairways. No, They're no. so strong they yeah. can be in, in, in a foot of rough. Yeah. Doesn't Give matter. Brooks Kepka his due. Oh. He missed he no missed doubt. some birdie putts. He was remember that stretch in the back nine? Par, par, par. Yeah. But when Tiger put on a charge, he had to get the putts. They he dropped for birdie. He fixed Give it. him credit and and he's a great, great player. And there's more majors in his scooter. future. Golf needs Tiger right now. It's amazing. With, he is with so what we saw yesterday. Well, they need Tiger to win a yeah. tournament to get it over with. Yeah, yeah. I agree. He's to just, where to where the whole country's got to go on on on, on the DEFCON five alert. Yes. Every time he gets in contention, he gets close. and and it renders everybody else meaningful. Yeah. Once he wins one. Then you could go ahead there, and have there's a lot of golfer. there's a lot of meaningful players out changed. there and Kepka is one of them along yeah. with many many more. Yeah. Great show guys. We Definitely. ran out of time for the old miss new mascot. We it's did. a land we shark. <laughs> you guys talk about Yeah, did. you we guys will. get into it next we week. Will. I won't be here at walk-ons. <laughs> Jim Gazzola will be sitting concert. in the chair. Will you be careful, Stick to the several. blocking and tackling we will. guys. We'll take care of it. I Good TV. Good TV. Thanks a lot. We'll do it all again next time everybody. Thanks for watching. Sound Off 60 airs on Suddenlink Cable Channel 4 Monday through Sunday nights at 9 and again Saturday and Sunday mornings at 10. Sound Off 60 also airs throughout Southwest Louisiana on Vive Broadband Channel 6 at 9 p.m. Check your local listings. Post your questions and comments for the guys and access our website and our great advertising partners at soundoff60tv.com.